but now it's not. We know now. But. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Welcome to Sold Out Sports Talk. Uh, good friend in the house, uh, known her for a long time. CBS Sports she started out when, when CBS was the number one in the world, and Brent Musburger and Jimmy the Greek and Irv Cross, a fellow teammate of my father. So Leslie Visser stopping by. Leslie, it's always great to see you. Roman, I think we've done this for 25 years. I know. But do you know that CBS spent so much time here in Minneapolis 25 years ago when I was uh, privileged to present the Lombardi Trophy? You know, one of the things that I love about you is, is that you were a star in the business as a woman in sports and accepted so far before this whole thing began. Um, but how does it feel for you to, to have been a foundational figure for young women in this business? Uh, thanks for asking that, Roman. I finally embrace it. I didn't want to wear it for a long time, but um, Michelle Tafoya just said to me the, uh, the other day, she said, you took all the firsts. <laughs> <laughs> and it was true, you know, first woman to cover the NFL as a bead, first woman on many, many, you know, NBA broadcasts, World Series broadcasts. Uh, so I covered 35 Final Fours. So I, for a long time, I just really said, well, I just love sports the way other kids love music, you know, or poetry or the law. I just love sports. And when we have a mutual friend, I think, that you got to work with one of the greatest ever in Brent Musburger. I mean... He was so great. You know what, Brent, I, the two I had who were like that, Brent Musburger and Al Michaels, you never felt, you didn't know where the broadcast was right. going. They never left you hanging. Um, Brent, I hope nobody sees this. Can I tell you an off-the-record story? Yeah, sure. Okay, my very first um, television assignment, I went from the Boston Globe right to CBS, and it was the U.S. Open Tennis. And do you remember Hanna Mandlikova? I heard the name, I think. She was a great player. She was from Prague, behind Martina. Uh -huh. And uh, so my very first assignment, it, Brent's hosting the U.S. Open. He says, let's go out to uh, Court 16, Leslie Vissers with Hanna Mandlikova. So uh, she had a great run that summer. She won the U.S. Open. I said, to what do you attribute your sudden rise in the rankings? And she says, well, I think it is my new couch. So I thought, I don't know, maybe she's sleeping better or something, you know. So I say, oh, did you get some new furniture? And she looks at me and she says, don't be ridiculous, Billie Jean King, my new coach. <laughs> <laughs> so Brent's head just hit the table and CBS would play it like every year, every year. But um, he what was a, great to work with. About, what was it like working with John Madden? Oh, he was brilliant. He was, um, I wrote a book, which is why I'm here um, uh, going around. Well, we'll tell get me the to name it. of the book. Uh, I'll tell you that in a second, okay. but I'll tell you John first. So I had the privilege. Of, I think I rode his bus with him for like five or six years, and um, he was so brilliant. You know, he would, we'd be riding through Utah on our way to a 49er game or something, and he would just look out the window and out of nowhere say, dark chocolate. I, I don't get it. it. It's like they got halfway to milk and quit. <laughs> so so you original. heard it all then? Heard it all. Plus, he would, we'd watch a lot of film. You know, watched a lot of film. So you got a chance to look at it from a coach's eyes. I really did. It was a privilege. I oh, mean, I it was bet. really a privilege. And, you know, people say, well, it's so much shorter if you fly there. But no. no. So For much. your career, it was an awesome move, right? It was move, right? really a privilege. Very few people get that opportunity that yes. aren't in the locker room. Yes. It was you know, just It reminds like me of my father. When I was nine years old, my dad would come home every day. We had the old, I still have his 16 millimeter projector that he used to have the clicker with, <laughs> right? And we used to go in his back office and I was nine and. And my dad was so meticulous at studying film and studying each individual and knowing exactly what everybody was doing on both sides. And so I was thinking, this will be really cool. I want to see the game, right? And so about half hour through, he's not off of one play, right? And he's just <laughs> going back and forth, back and forth. It's like, Dad, will you just let it go forward well, so I can see what happens? He goes, well, well that's not what I'm doing. He goes, I, you know, I want to show you how to study. And it's like, so he showed me how to study film. And you're right, it's, a, it's an art. Well, John said he went once to listen to Vince Lombardi, and he spent like seven hours just on the Packers sweep. And John said, I thought I knew football, but he no. spent hours and hours on one play. 